see, I've interrupted my daily jazz listening. Uh, this is this is what keeps me from murdering. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, as I've made quite clear, I'm too lazy for such activities. Anyway, uh, what I really wanted to show you is if we go to alldaybreakfast.games, there is a new demo up. You may not have caught here some of the more recent concept artwork, but in the demo section, my original motion comic series called Orlock, and I'm going to give you a quick peek of that. These are some samples of the artwork from scene backgrounds and from frames in the motion comic. Now, I'll read this real quick before I carry on. Orlock is a story centered around the classic public domain vampire character created by F.W. Marnot. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I think I've heard it pronounced that way. Including an entirely new cast of supporting characters, Orlock tells the story of a younger Count Orlock before, from before the events of the classic film Nosferatu, as the nefarious Count travels through Central Europe to amass wealth, property, and, of course, victims of his undead thirst. The Count soon finds himself under the suspicious suspicions <laughs> of a cunning French nobleman, leading him on a mental game of chess to protect his dark and preternatural secrets from being revealed. You can test out the online demo at, and we'll click there. Now, before I show you that, since obviously if you were reading along with me, you can see where I somehow managed to screw up the description here, uh, and some typos got through. It happens. Uh, embarrassing when you find it on stream, but what I'm just going to do is I'm going to take the time to show you what you can do when that happens. Hopefully it doesn't happen to you while you're on a stream. I'm going to pop into ArtStation. Uh, I do see I've got a couple notifications, and those are going to be great to check later. I love uh, getting notifications from people. Um, there's a lot of artists that we follow each other's work, and we kind of, it's kind of a, a respect from one artist to another. We'll very often like and tag each other's work every day when you post it. Uh, there's a few that are regulars. This is going to be a new one for me. If you guys know me, I love the Incredible Hulk, one of my favorite characters. So, I tend to try and, you know, check out stuff on ArtStation. I try to make time to do it. I'm not a studio that's hiring, and studios that hire do this too, but I just like to check out the artwork and make connections with other artists and just show other artists appreciation. I think there's enough negativity in the world. We don't need to treat each other like rivals uh, or enemies or competition. Uh, my work is different than your work. And every project is going to look different depending on the artist hired. So uh, I don't feel threatened by someone else's work. Their work doesn't look like mine. My work doesn't look like theirs. We would never make the same thing. That would be identical. So there's no need to see other artists as a threat. At least that's the way I see it. Um, anyway, enough of me being Old Man River. Uh, let's check out, that was, I want to manage my portfolio, uh, I want to go to demos, I want to go edit project, and you can see that's the back end of ArtStation for anyone watching this who's never seen that. So let's read through this description again and make some corrections as we go along. Orlock is a story centered around the classic public domain vampire character created by F.W. Marnot. Including an entirely new cast of supporting characters, Orlock tells the story of a younger Count Orlock. I don't even like how that reads, actually. To be honest, guys, I feel like I didn't edit this enough or something. Uh, sorry, if a younger... Just a younger count actually works. From before the events of the classic film Nosferatu, as the nefarious counts count travels through Central Europe to amass wealth, property, and of course, victims of his undead thirst. The count soon finds himself under the suspicion. I still don't know how that happened. Suspicions. Of a, 
cunning French nobleman leading him on a mental game of chess to protect his dark and preternatural secrets from being revealed. You can test out the online demo at, there we go, alright, all that stuff's good, don't need to change anything there, I'm going to hit save. Bam, no need to reshare that, I'm going to close this tab, I'm going to go check out those art station notifications later, but for now, boom, corrections already up, yay for technology, let's check out this. And here comes the title screen. Uh, in the browser version, sometimes you have to click where in other formats you don't. So if you run into that in the browser demo version uh, and not in the download versions, at least that's how it should be, let's just carry on. When you have your own time, please check this out and get more details about the original characters and all the copyright info. Christian Stad, Sweden, 12.30 a.m. I didn't read fast enough. 17. <laughs> 30 something. The carriage driver struggles against weather and exhaustion as his blurry eyes focus on his destination. Oh, thank heavens. It's a God-given miracle that we received your letter in time. We don't usually take in guests this late, but your letter and the deposit inside of it was very persuasive. I just want to take a moment to apologize for me not doing the character voices, and I also have a very dry mouth, so bear with me one moment. Oh, much better. Woohoo! All right. Oh my heavens, he's slumped over, dead of exhaustion. A uh, good serving stock is so hard to find. He must have had a weak constitution. And that's all I'm going to show you for now. There is more to it than that. If you want to check it out, if you want to see the rest of it, you can do the demo for free on my website, which is alldaybreakfast.games. I'm going back to it right now. So that was the Orlock demo. Check out the rest of it for yourself. And also, you won't hear me talking over it and distracting you, but I put a lot of heartfelt effort into it. <laughs> I really did. I really put a lot of thought into the sound design as well. I hope that came across. Um, adding the horse noises and the storm. And as you watch the rest of it. As I hope you will. Uh, again, we're all stuck at home. And it's free. So uh, check it out. The other thing is too. If I get some feedback. Like I don't know. Let's say you click on the about page. And then you click here and you email me or you play a demo like this uh, there's a link to my contact page in the main menu of all of the demos um, there are plenty of ways to contact me send feedback uh, if I hear from you that you like this I'll keep making more chapters uh, same goes for these other projects that I have going on up here so uh, what I'm gonna do if I start getting feedback I am going to uh, add a page on the site where people will be able to vote people who support the projects um, I don't know yet if it'll be some sort of like patreon um, 
integration or not um, but I'd love to hear people's opinions which ones do they like which ones do they want me to continue uh, do they want to see something else uh, in case you're wondering well, what does he mean by something else uh, here's just an example of some of the concept art that I've posted recently uh, there is an idea a video game a graphic novel an animated uh, something behind each and every piece of concept art that I do so this is something that I am going to start showing more of my creative process and uh, I'm going to try and start sharing it and also show ways to kind of have fun with how you choose your projects. Um, so anyway, uh, feel free to reach out and say, hey, I really like Dorlock or I really like The Last Barbarian or the who's who of human rights is a great idea or uh, anything else. I am all ears. I am fully open to feedback <laughs> and uh, I mean, We've all got time here, so if I start getting feedback from you, I will add a section where I will actually let fans vote on the next motion comic or the next concept that I develop. So um, some of them work better with video games, some are more visual novels, some are more graphic novels. So again, it depends on what people like, but uh, what we've got going on now is an inter interesting mix. Um, Gassy Man is more of a Flappy Bird type video game. The Who's Who of Human Rights is more like a digital encyclopedia. Uh, these two are more horror, fantasy, comic, or motion comic, visual novel concepts. Um, and these are just some of the things I did earlier in the year, just some of my favorite horror pieces. Uh, some of them you can see in the art section on the site, some you can't. But anyway, that was a sneak peek of Orlock. I hope that uh, you found it interesting, and I would love to get some feedback. I already know what my next demo is going to be, and I'm not going to say what it is yet, but it is uh, going to be... It's going to have a pterodactyl in it. That's what I'm going to tell you, is my next project will have a pterodactyl in it. Um, and that goes towards finding ways to have fun with what you're doing and I had an idea and I thought it would be great if I added dinosaurs to it and specifically a pterodactyl and I've kind of been building this story in my head the last few days it is not what I had originally planned on working on next but it's something that I actually like so much I just want to work on it now so I'm gonna give more hints uh, on that later but for now check that stuff out feedback folks feedback come on feel free to comment on videos and blog posts and stuff um, but yes thank you very much for watching uh, and I hope that this finds you well I hope you are keeping well over the holiday season in uh, corona world out there uh, have a good one and I'll see you next time